What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon VGC video. Today we're going to continue with our speculation of the new Hisuian Pokemon from Pokemon Legends Arceus in future VGC formats. You know, obviously there is no competitive in Pokemon Legends Arceus, but what we do have are data mines that gave us the abilities and stats of these Pokemon and they are going to be transferable to home eventually, so hopefully at some point we can get them in a VGC format, whether it be in Gen 9 or somehow we get them in Sword and Shield. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And answer my comment question of the day, what do you think about Hisuian Braviary? Because that's what we're going to be talking about today, and I think this has to be one of the most hype Pokemon that we're getting right now. So... Hisuian Braviary, what is what are this the difference between it and regular Braviary? Well, while other Hisuian Pokemon, like for example, if we look at um Quillfish, right? If we look at Quillfish and we look at like Hisuian Quillfish, um, you can kind of see that they have pretty much the exact same stats, and it's just a typing change and like a moveset change. Hisuian Braviary is one of the few that got a major overhaul and does something completely different than the other Braviary. So the other Braviary has always been like a defiant Pokemon uh, that has a pretty decent bulk, okay speed, and really good attack. So it, it was mainly just like an anti-Incineroar Pokemon that you would just lead off with. And it ended up being kind of worse than other defiant flying types like Thunderous and Zapdos. Uh, but, you know, we, we don't really care for it that much in this format. I think that this new Hisuian Braviary has some major potential. Also, it's got a sick shiny, so I'm going to be shiny hunting that. Uh, but Hisuian Braviary has some major potential in VGC, and that's because of the crazy damage output that it's going to be able to put out with Sheer Force Life Orb Hurricane. So we can talk about the stats in a second, but I want to I want to talk about Sheer Force Life Orb Hurricane, right? So Sheer Force is an ability that makes it so any attack with a secondary effect, be it burn, confusion, uh, a speed drop, as long as it's not like a 100% thing, or it can even be a 100% thing, I guess, um, it nullifies that secondary effect uh, and gives it a 30% power boost. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, it is even moves with 100% thing. So Bulldoze wouldn't lower your speed and it would uh, get the 30% power boost if you were to run that, I suppose. Uh, so basically, access to this ability goes crazy with Life Orb and a high base power move like Hurricane. A comparable Pokemon that does a similar thing is Nidoking, right? If you've ever faced Nidoking in a VGC format, you hate having to switch anything in on its insane coverage with like, you know, Bolt Beam um, and Earth Power and Sludge Bomb. Like, like this thing has absurd damage output, even though it doesn't have like a really, really good uh, special attack stat. It only has 85, and that's strictly because all of these moves are like 90 base power minimum, and Earth Power and Sludge Bomb get stab on them, right? So if you just max this out, all of a sudden, like, nothing gets switched in on by anything. Like, everything gets two-hit KO'd. The difference between Nidoking and Hisuian Braviary is its main move has much higher base power than all of Nidoking's moves, and this thing has a much higher special attack stat. The fact that we have trouble switching in on Nidoking with an 85 special attack stat is going to be nothing compared to Braviary with a 112 special attack stat. Because on paper, you might think, oh, this thing's going to suck, man. It, like, it's only 112 base power. Why would we run that when we could run, I don't know, like, Galarian Articuno? Which, yeah, I suppose they, they do similar things, and Articuno is faster. Uh, but the immediate damage output from Braviary is going to be much higher than Articuno. So let's let's run some calcs here. Also, let me talk about the stats. So it's 110 HP, 83 attack, 70 defense, uh, 112 special attack, 70 special defense, and 65 speed. So it's slow, but it's not too slow. It can hit 107 speed with a modest nature at level 50, which does allow it to outspeed Dragapult under Tailwind, and that's like a really good benchmark. Uh, it's also got like enough bulk where you don't have to invest that much into your bulk to live hits. Yeah, like flying and psychic isn't a great defensive typing, but it's still going to be able to take hits. Like it's going to be able to take neutral hits just fine. Uh, I suppose Braviary had similar bulk before with 100 HP and 75 in both defenses. All that happened is the five at the end, <laughs> the five points in uh, both of its defenses got moved to its HP. So it it has more general bulk, I suppose. I don't know how that really affects calcs, um, but also the attack stat dropped considerably, moved into the special attack stat, and its speed dropped. So I I mean personally, I'd prefer it if this thing had more speed and 
you know, they just lower that attack stat to like 40 because, you know, the regular bravery has 57, atta uh, 57 special attack. So I don't know. I think the reason that they limited this thing to 112 special attack is literally just because sheer force hurricane would be absurd. Hurricane does have an accuracy problem. Uh, however, that is mitigated by the fact that this thing is going to go crazy on rain teams. So let's talk about hurricane. A sheer force modest hurricane with a life orb on it is a one shot on 4 HP Lander Therian. If it's max HP, it's still a one shot, like 81% of the time. That's crazy. Let's look at Incineroar, something that you're likely going to face in one of the more special defensive Rand Pokemon in the format. Hurricane, clean two hit KO. There's a lot of things that this, there's, there's a lot of things that this Pokemon can one shot. I think the important one is, not Heatran, uh, Ferrothorn. So I, I think that this Pokemon is going to be great on rain because you get, there's no accuracy check on Hurricane when it's in the rain. It just always connects, even if like your opponent has evasion boost and stuff. So I think that this thing is going to be great on rain because if it does get Tailwind, Tailwind will allow it to like speed boost Pokemon next to it. Like, uh, I don't know. Let's say you're running Kyogre in a restricted format. Well, Kyogre hates facing off versus Ferrothorn because Ferrothorn gets harder to KO when the rain is up, right? Hisuian Bravery is a flying type, which gives it a pretty solid chance of getting Heat Wave. If you actually, if you actually look at um, the distribution of flying types that learn Heat Wave, it's pretty much all of them. If I could type it in. Yeah, like it's it's pretty much all of them. If they have wings, they usually learn Heat Wave, even Farfetch gets it. So I'm pretty confident that this thing will get it. Uh, so yeah, Sheer Force Life Orb Heat Wave is a guaranteed one shot on Ferrothorn, even like a super special defensive one. Like if we were to run like a sassy one with max, um, yeah, max special defense. That's still pretty much a guaranteed one shot, 93% chance to KO. Uh, so let's say you're just facing like a non-special defensive Ferrothorn and it's in the rain because you're likely going to face that. It's still like a pretty clean to hit KO. And the fact that you can two hit KO a Ferrothorn in the rain with like a non-stab fire move is actually absurd because there are there are Pokemon that are like are fire types that sometimes can't do that. And here's the thing, it's also a spread move. Like this thing's not gonna get flamethrower, but it's probably gonna get heat wave. So the fact that you're hitting both things in the field with this move is actually really crazy. Let's say you're in the sun and you're facing off versus let's just go with that Landorus again, right? Let's just go with fast Landorus. Four HP. If you're in the sun versus Landorus and you want to click heat wave, you're doing upwards of 74%. That's like, I, I don't know how else to say it. It's it's really high damage. Yeah, it does have some shortcomings. It's not going to like facing off versus Incineroar most of the time since Incineroar can, you know, take a hit and then hit it back with like a Darkest Lariat. Um, it's going to hate getting snarled and that's not fun. And it needs to invest pretty heavily into speed to, outs uh, to outspeed things if it, if it like it runs Tailwind, right? So I think that this thing will likely get Trick Room since it is Psychic type. There's a good chance it's going to get Trick Room and it's really slow, so it would really suck if it didn't. Uh, and I don't think it's better under Trick Room. I just think it's different. You can kind of run it however you want. I think it's better at Tailwind, to be honest. Now, now that I think about it, I think Tailwind's so much better because rain teams do better under Tailwind as well. And just the fact that it like functions so well with Hurricane under rain is going to be huge. Uh, so yeah, now, I do think that Tailwind's going to be better, but Trick Room's just fine if you're running it next to, like I don't know, a Glass Drier or whatever. So, Trick Room, Psychic, Hurricane, Heat Wave, it all remains the same. As far as other moves that it could get, uh, I don't think it's going to get a super crazy special move pool, but if we look at Nidoking, when, there's no reason this should get a super crazy special move pool, so for all we know, we might be looking at like Earth Power, Hisuian Braviary, and then this thing gets scarier. I think it has fine coverage as it is if it gets Heat Wave and Psychic. Psychic is still unconfirmed, I believe. I don't know why. Uh, this thing definitely is going to get Psychic, though. It's literally a special attacking Psychic type. Uh, but if it if it gets Heat Wave, which it should, it has crazy coverage. It hits... Um, it was it? It's going to hit Poison. It's going to hit Fighting, uh, Grass, Bug, friggin' Steel. Like, it, it hits a lot of things, right? Uh, ice as well. Like, the fact that Hisuian Braviary can hit, like, a Glass GA with um, a Heat Wave is going to be crazy. But as far as Defiant goes, because it does have that final ability, you, no one's going to run Kenai, that's so bad. As far as Defiant goes, there's like no reason to run a Defiant Hisuian Braviary. Obviously, it's got 83 attack, 65 speed, where you could just run regular Braviary, which is a much better Defiant user. And even that, you don't even have to run regular Braviary. You want to run a good Defiant user, there's Thunderous. 
there's Zapdos, like, they're right there. I, I don't think you should ever really run Define on this thing, but if you were to, if you wanted to catch your opponent off guard on, like, the Incineroar lead, if it still gets, like, close combat, maybe you can one-shot an Incineroar? Actually, let me see if that's even a thing. Can you one-shot an Incineroar if you're running, like, Adamant? Um, this would be plus two, yeah, plus one. Yeah, you, you can one-shot an Incineroar if you run Adamant Life Orb, but it's like, it's not worth it. Uh, as far as physical moves with Sheer Force boosts, Iron Head, Rock Slide, not Rest, Rock Slide. I wouldn't recommend it, though. Half the thing with Rock Slide is the fact that you flinch. I, I don't know, there, there's just not, there's, there's no reason to do that to yourself. Go ahead and just run... <laughs> Or no, not Sheer Force. Uh, yeah, no, you, you wouldn't run Sheer Force on a physical set because of the fact that all your moves just kind of get worse. Uh, but yeah, like, I, I think that you should always run as a special attacker. That I didn't even have to, like, explain that to you guys because of the stat spread on this guy, but I, I feel like I should at least say it. Um, but yeah, I think that's really all my thoughts on Hisuian Braviary. It's going to be good versus a lot of things. Um, it's probably not going to be like a top tier Pokemon, but the damage output will make it considerably better than a lot of other stuff. Kind of like, you know... Needle King. Like, Needle King isn't a super top tier Pokemon, but if you bring it to a match, your opponent gets kind of scared because they're like, ooh, that thing can one shot a lot of stuff on my team. So, yeah, I think Bravery is going to fill a similar niche, except possibly with Tailwind and its move pool and, you know, perfectly accurate hurricanes under uh, under rain with a sheer force boost. So, that's going to be really great. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, check out the Discord, check out the Patreon, and uh, yeah. Uh, let me know which Pokemon do you want me to analyze next in the next video. And I will see you guys in the... I, I said next video like three times. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>